Hey Nail Divas, it's Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing an ombre using nail forms and poly gel. So the nail forms I'm using, I purchased these off of, I can't remember if I got them from sets or if I got them from um, shine.com but I'll list it below where I got them if you're interested this is the particular nail form I'm going to be using today and actually after I looked at it I was like I, I want it so bad to use one of the other colors and I think I want to do another look after I was done with it I liked it so much I want to do one another color another look with another color so if you guys are interested in that leave a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see me use another one of these nail forms to kind of do a similar look um, I've got my poly gel my alcohol and my nail tools and we're gonna get started here so first I've already have my nails all prepped um, I have a couple of coats of clear dip on them and I am going to go in here with my McCart nail foil glue and I'm going to give that a cure. I'm going to put the nail foil right on top of the tip here and I'm going to place the poly gel over it. So basically I'm going to encapsulate the foil and do an ombre with that. So after I pull the nail out of the lamp, I am just placing the foil on and I am, as you can see, I'm just trying to press firmly to get the entire color of the foil to stick to the nail. And I missed a spot as you can see and that's fine. You can just go back in and just continue to tap with the nail foil to fill in the spots that you missed. So I did the entire thumbnail with the foil and I'm only going to do the tip of the index finger and my ring finger as well and I'm going to make an ombre look with those two nails. So I'm going to repeat the exact same step. I'm going to place the foil on top of the nail and I'm just going to um, continue to put the paper, move it around wherever there are any spots that didn't fill in completely and um, which usually it does really well. I just think I wasn't giving it enough pressure um, when I because it's a tip and I just didn't want to break my tip. So <laughs> I think that's what happened there but it worked out fine. So now I am going in here with my gel base coat. I always put a base coat down prior to starting any poly gel set. So I'm going to put the base coat on all the nails and give that a cure. I'm going in now with the iGel Beauty's Diamond Sculpture Gel in the color Nude and I am going to place that poly gel from my cuticle and I'm going to work it my way toward the free edge kind of stopping at the midway point because I am going to add the clear later, later to um, encapsulate the nail form. And I'm just going to repeat that step on my ring finger here as well. And I will come back to those nails later to do the clear. going in here with the nude poly gel and I'm going to place this color on my middle finger and also my pinky finger.
Okay, so back to the ombre nails. I am now going in with clear poly gel and it again is the iGel Beauty's Diamond Sculpture Gel in clear and I'm just placing that color at the tip of the nail and I'm working it back towards the cuticle while also building my apex. Going in to do some filing and I decided for this set to just hand file the nails they are um, they're not very thick so I didn't really have to do a lot of filing and also poly gel is really soft so that made it easier um, now I am going in here with my Poochie's nails bling gel and I'm going to just paint the entire middle finger um, the middle finger, middle finger nail uh, with that and then I'm going to go over top of it without curing with my Poochie's Nails um, Super Shine Top Coat and now I'm going to place some rhinestones on this nail and I want to make it in the shape of a snake and I hope that's what it looks like when I'm done because my husband said it just looked like an S. <laughs> All right, so this may not even be noticeable, and um, I actually, I don't really notice it that much. Well, I notice it when I look at my nails because I know it's there, but I'm going to just add a little bit of gel here to paint a little snake tongue. I want to make it look a little bit more like a snake. <laughs> so now I'm all done with this mani. I am going in here with my Poochie's a super shine top coat. I'm going to top coat these nails and I'll be back with the final look. This is the final Manny and I thought it came out pretty cute. I've been playing around with square shaped nails lately and I am digging this. I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye!